Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do my everyday makeup routine for work. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting my hair up and then a headband over my head to make sure all the hair is out of my face. The first step I do is moisturise. I'm using the Dr. Andrews Well For Originals Makeup Mushroom Cream. I just dab it all over my face and then rub it in just like so. After that, I use the concealer. I'm using the Garnier Youthful Radiance Anti-Dark Circle Roll-On in the colour light. I just put this under my eyes to cover my dark circles and I also apply to any blemishes and freckles. Then I like to dry it because I find it helps to set the concealer a bit better. Once that's done, I just rub it all in and after that's done, I will eventually use some hand sanitizer because I find that my hands have got the product all over it and it's also very important to keep your hands clean when touching your face. After that, it's time for the foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream 8-in-1. It's 2% salicylic acid and it's also for oily skin. Although I don't have oily skin, I find it's just enough coverage for my everyday work makeup. I just dab it in all over my face and rub it all in. After that's done, it's time to use more hand sanitizer using more because I'm using more product on my face. After that, I use the powder and I'm using the Australis Press Powder in the colour Deep Natural. And as you can see, I'm almost empty. And I just pat that all over my face to help set my foundation. And I think this helps give it a more matte and flawless finish. After that's finished, it's time for the blush. And I'm using the Models Prefer blush in the colour Desk to Date. This is a new product that I am using and so far I'm loving it. I'm also using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush by Samantha Chapman. This is a great brush and it's perfect for blush. After the blush is done, I use eyeliner. I got this one from Daiso, which is a Chinese slash Japanese shop and it cost $2.80. It's called the Magical Eyeliner, but it wasn't so magical for me today and I managed to do a big fail of my eyeliner and mucked it up completely. It was terrible. I am so bad. So please give me a thumbs up for putting on odd eyeliner. Yay! After my eyeliner is done, I curl my eyelashes and this curler was also from Dezo. It does the job and that's all I really need. Next up, I'm using my favourite mascara, which is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Endless in, in the colour black. And I just put this on my top lashes and then my bottom lashes. After that, I actually went to fix my eyeliner because it was so bad and I was not having a good day with my eyeliner. So here I am just showing you my eyes. Sorry, it is blurry. And here I am just kissing my mascara because I just love it that much. Last step I like to do is put a lip balm on. I got this one from Sports Girl in the colour Peach and it smells absolutely amazing. I find it's good to keep your lips moisturised. And that is pretty much it. I'm just taking my hair out and fixing it all up. And yes, that is my natural hair, so... Give it a thumbs up for natural curly hair. It looks gross. <laughs> and yeah, this is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. And yeah. But there's a problem. I'm not ready for work yet. So, wait. Oh, now I'm ready for work. And that's my name badge. So, time to... Go, give it a thumbs up and leave any comments or questions down below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching everyone and bye.